babes. Good morning. Ah, just getting ready for the day. I'm gonna put deodorant on. I'm still using that same new Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant, like a natural one. I'm actually really liking it. The fragrance is a little, a little strong, but I think it's really good. I need to shave my armpits. <laughs> There, I did not realize it was that bad. I need to get back on my laser hair removal game and do like a maintenance appointment. It's been a while, but I'll probably do it this fall because you can't do it like you've been tanning and all that sort of stuff. Okay, I think my outfit needs a sweatshirt or some sort of like a button up or something. In with the clothes. Okay. Button up or a sweatshirt or a shirt jacket. I can wear just like a white button up with this. Maybe I'll go all black for a moment. It's kind of chilly. All black? You wanna do that? We'll go with that. It's fine. Okay, let me show you my outfits. I'll just show it to you guys right here. So I'm wearing the Lululemon Align onesie. Actually, this is supposed to be an eight inch inseam, but I just picked it up this week. I had them shorten it to a six inch inseam. So it's like a normal bike short length for me, but I know I really like it. Nice and simple. And then just threw this on over top. This is from Aritzia. We'll see if I change it, but for now it's fine. Let's put on a little perfume to make sure we smell good. I think I'm gonna go with this one from Dossier. I've been obsessed with it. This is like the one I brought with me on all of my trips recently because it's a good like travel size, but it's the Ambery Safon, which is a really good replica of the, what is it called? Baroque Rouge or something. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. It's really good though. Way more affordable. Now it's time to start work or continue working actually. But I guess what I mean by start is I do have a meeting in five minutes, but before that work meeting, there was a couple of emails that I wanted to respond to for this influencer job that I have. <laughs> Today is Friday though, and it is going to be a very productive Friday. I have so much to do today. My to-do list is like a mile long. So we're gonna do everything together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see if it actually comes. But Zara is saying that one of the furniture pieces is out for delivery today. Let's cross our fingers that it comes. I'm so excited for it. I've been waiting for it to come. And while I'm speaking about just the guest bedroom, it's making some serious progress. The rug came, some decor came, and I spent the last week completely cleaning out the space, like seriously cleaning it out, like gutting it completely, reorganizing, rearranging things as well. So it's really coming along. And that's one of the things that's on my to-do list for today is a bunch of stuff that I pulled out of it. I'm actually donating. And so my car is completely full right now to go to like Goodwill. And so I'm going to um, do that in a little bit after a couple of meetings. We are gonna go unload everything. It's gonna feel so good. God, there's like no better feeling, at least to me, than cleaning out my space, decluttering. And it feels so good to like to donate and to get rid of stuff. Oh, I love it. So I'm very much looking forward to it today. Okay, let's respond to this email really fast because I have two minutes. Ooh, two minutes. all right meeting time you guys i'm actually so proud of myself i recently started like reaching out to brands just brands that i organically use and i'm interested in and trying to see if they like want to work with me in some form it's taking a lot for me to like reach out to brands and i'm having like some success with it i know like this sort of stuff i don't talk about too much if you guys want me to talk about it i'm more than happy to but it's something that i recently started doing i would say like five months ago and yeah i've been really enjoying like that aspect of this job so like instead of like waiting for brands to come to me i'm going to them and like pitching myself which if you guys know me i'm not a salesperson by any means it's like if i was a salesperson in real life i would not make any income in any sort of way 
<laughs> like I'm just not a natural born salesperson. I'm not good at it at all. There's people that are good at it and some people that are not. I'm more of like the latter, I'm not good at it. And it makes me like really uncomfortable as well. Like selling myself and talking about myself. It's just not who I am. So I'm kind of like pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and it's, it's really awesome. Um, anyway, so that's kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm following up with a brand that I reached out to. Okay, let's do my meeting. Move you over here. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is like my little office space in my house. <laughs> what have I been doing? Um, so I've been trying to work. went so over about 40 minutes over to be exact so I'm very late to go out and about and do things that I wanted to do today and it's really only against like my own schedule that I had for myself today but you can see the back of my car is full of things that I want to donate so we're gonna go do that right this very second it's also 102 so because of my meeting that went over I wasn't able to eat lunch so I'm hungry. So I'm late to eating as well, but like the Goodwill place closes at two, like so early in the day. Like, what is that? This is a priority. I guess overeating. But honestly, what a terrible time to go out. Everybody and their mom decided to go out at this moment in time. There's so much traffic on the road. No, I'm not looking forward to driving back in that. All right, let's hope it's open, it's open, it's open. I think it is, yes. Hello. Hi. How are you? here I'm hoping that they're open because I think they closed for lunch at 1 to 1 30 and it's 1 11 so I might just like have to hang out in their drive-thru or something <laughs> until they're back from lunch knew it knew they'd be closed okay so what I think I'm gonna do is surprise Juan with getting Indian food for dinner tonight they close soon at 2 p.m. so we'll see if they even take my order what do I want because up where I'm at, they have our favorite Indian place. It's called Kathakali. <sighs> you guys, if you live here, you need to try it. It's so good. Hi, can I place an order for pickup? Yeah, sure. Oh, awesome. Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Carissa. C-A-R-I-S-S-A. -S -S I am so hungry. I kind of scratched the idea of making a salad because I would have to make everything from scratch, like cutting everything, and I am just so freaking hungry. So I'm eating leftovers. This is like a, a spicy pork over rice bowl that we got from Mama's Kitchen that is here in Bellevue. And yeah, it's really, really delicious. I'm gonna chow down on this so much, I cannot talk any longer, bye. <laughs> also, I had so many packages arrive. I had some Amazon packages, and then that is the furniture piece from Zara. So it looks like I need to put it together. So after lunch, I will open these up and share a little bit of what I've got, I guess. All right, let's open some packages. I'm trying to do a makeshift tripod. What? My gifts. Your gifts, don't. Get... I mean, I guess, Kind of, because this is our house. 
you know. The only thing I buy for our house is yours too. Our house. This is probably boring. This is gonna be hangers. <laughs> I ordered hangers for the guest bedroom, so if people stay over, they have nice matching hangers to use, but then also I got extra for my coats and my coat closet in my office to go in. So I got all black wood ones. Simple, cute, Amazon, great. Excuse me, are we having a dessert? You can not Why? Why can't I have it? Because you did not finish your lunch food, so oh. you're clearly not coming. We need a snack. After lunch, I was busy doing a lot of coordination. We have some things coming up. My brother and his fiance are having a little baby in November, so we need to figure out like um like a baby shower. And then also my mom is retiring. Can you believe it? So we decided we're gonna do like a little celebration for my mom's retirement. So I was coordinating all of that, trying to pick a day, a time, and booking like a reservation and stuff like that. And we still need, need to do more for the baby shower. But anyway, some progress is made. But Juan brought out these little lemon bars from Trader Joe's. They're so good, babe, I'm salivating. My mouth is watering. Oh, these are so good. And they're like perfect bite size, little bites, little pieces. No? Like it doesn't make you feel too guilty because they're so small and cute. Guilty free. Guilt free. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think of the hangers? I prefer these ones than mine. Do you want to take some then for your part of the closet. We have like the velvet hangers in our main closet for all of our clothes, but what Juan was just saying was that he doesn't like those, they're too flimsy. I like them. Yeah, okay. I feel like they allow you to have, are you having another one? No. Babe. Cool. But I feel like they allow you to have more clothes. Like they have, they're like really skinny and small, so it saves space or it creates more space so that you can have more clothes where these don't, but I mean, they are sturdy. Nice. Anyway, okay, so two of these boxes are for hangers. I got 60 hangers, babe. But I have like 30 coats, so, you know, already one box is accounted for. <laughs> and second, what I'm really excited for is we're doing a little bit of a fixing up in our laundry room and we are putting like our detergent and everything in these little dispensers to dispense and organize it some more. So that's what this is, it's just um, dispensers. It's a long story. The one we have upstairs is for three, but this is the style and it's really nice. Hangers. Oh, I forgot I bought this. Let's see if we even like it. It's like a small jewelry organizer that I can keep like on my dresser. It's white, it's cute, and it also is like travel friendly too. It like closes up. I didn't really like that it had like a brand on here, but it's Amazon, it's whatever. Cute. I like that it had this so that I can hang some of my necklaces in here. Had more spot for rings, had some open compartments here on the side. Then also this opens up to a bigger section for like my hoops or something. I don't know, I thought this was cute to just keep on my dresser and travel with it too. Like my main things that I like to wear all the time instead of like keep going into like my bigger jewelry box, you know? So in the box is a cute little narrow bench. It's quite like long as well, but it looks like I need to build it really quickly. So I'll build it and show it to you. But already I love it. Like the tones of this wood is gorgeous. Okay, let's build it. And here she is. She is so cute. Love the color of it, the tones. It's like a little bit rustic, but not, which I like that. I didn't want anything too rustic for the space upstairs. And it's like really narrow and long. I feel like it's taller than me, <laughs> but it's so cute. And yeah, I can't believe this came from Zara Home. I think that the quality so far is like amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. What are you laughing at? This is gonna go under the TV 
in the room upstairs. Okay. It's more for decor than functional. I see. Yeah. But it's going to look so good. So for the decor decisions in the upstairs room, I did not run anything by Juan. I'm just doing what I want with the space. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bring you into the guest bedroom and give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek and a status update to how things are going in here. It's a work in progress, obviously. Just moved the bench up here. So this bench is gonna replace this TV stand and then this TV is gonna be mounted to the wall. We're gonna, I think, try to tackle that this weekend and then move this out of the room and downstairs out of the space. I need to list it for sale. And then for the bed, we took the like black frame that it was sitting on off and just put it on the ground for now. We're just waiting for a bed frame to arrive. And then we also got a new rug for this space. You guys, I am so in love with this rug. It is so soft. It's just like the perfect addition color-wise and feeling-wise to this space. And then this nightstand is going. I'm selling this and we're still waiting for two more nightstands to come. These are the black lamps I'm going to use. If you guys remember these back from when I lived in my condo, I have the second one sitting right here in the closet. Um, this mirror is temporary, but I'm thinking I might add a mirror like right here, like a long, tall one. Love this little wooden chair. Move the desk here in the corner for now. I want to try to see if I can keep that in this space because I feel like it would be nice to have a desk in this room still. So this bed will raise what else? Here's the hangers. I'm going to hang up. I also organized the closet like a ton. So I kept these in here um, just in case like for guests if they want to use those to organize and store their shoes while they're staying. But also I don't need them anymore. So I don't know. I think that they're fine right here. More storage, empty bins. And then just got this from the container store and built it. So I'm going to get a second one to go right here. So that way if we have two people staying in this room, it's like a his and hers sort of a drawer organizer sort of a thing. And then the rest of the closet is kind of just... A little bit of storage it's not gonna stay here but it's gonna be in here for now I think it's coming together quite nice oh and then forgot that I got like this long body pillow for in here and then I have a pillow cover coming for this and I still don't have the throw blanket on the bed either so it'll come together and look really cute Let's get the hangers out of this box and in the closet Oh, I cannot wait to finish decorating this space. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm just gonna sneak away in here all the time. <laughs> And in the laundry room, we're trying to organize this a little bit. We had just the counter full of like the detergents and everything. And we we're trying to think of some sort of solution that would make things a little bit cleaner and just better, less clutter always. And this is the solution that we came up with. It's not for the shower, but for us, for the laundry, it's perfect. They're kind of small, so it might require us to refill them quite a bit, but honestly, it's, it's totally fine. So we have different detergents just based on our needs of what we do with the laundry. So this first one is just like a regular detergent for everyday washing. It is like a fragrance free one. This middle one is for hand washing only. It's like a delicate wash. And then this is a mix that we made that is specific for stains. And so I made these little things to put on each one so we can tell them apart but i have regular delicates and then also one for stains that just say stains on it i still need to put that up but yeah i think that that makes the space look a lot cleaner and then we just need to like hang up a few things so my dyson i think we're gonna try to like hang it up on this wall just to clean up like the area a little bit but honestly it looks good i mean laundry room's laundry room i'm fine with the way that this looks it's functional for us and I don't need to make it like too pretty, like too much decor. It's not like really a focus right now. I got a few new pieces in from Revolve and I want to throw in a little bit of a haul for you guys. I just threw on this sweatshirt over the onesie that I've been wearing all day from Lululemon. Love this sweatshirt. It's just like 
that light pink one that was really popular but it's in like the sand color which is way more up my alley i'm not like really a pink person i did get that sweatshirt and i thought that i could love it but i can't i'm a, such a neutral girl you know what i mean and i just love like the graphic on it too the massive graphic on the back side and it's just like a really soft cozy sweatshirt it's gonna be perfect starting to head in to fall i know you guys i want to stay and enjoy my summer but like my mind is on like the next season already a little bit just started to be like this last week it's kind of insane for me but i'm definitely wanting to get a few new sweatshirts for my fall collection i've been wearing the same sweatshirts i feel like for a few years now but yeah i really like the overall fit of this how it looks on and i love like the sleeve length too it's a good oversized yet fitted sort of a look a little too lazy to throw on a bathing suit for this one but this skirt is the next purchase that i made i think that they advertise this as like a skirt to wear like with a fancy top for like a night out or something but this looks like the perfect cover-up and like sarong for the beach it's like this linen material and this gorgeous color so yeah i would 100 percent dedicate this to wearing it at the beach and i like the price of it too it's really reasonable for like a sarong and a skirt i keep just like touching it because it's like really <laughs> soft and i love the way that it looks on i feel like this sort of look with this open leg is like really flattering and it covers up like any problem areas too it's such such a good skirt and it has like a little zipper on the side too so it cinches in a little bit more at the waist it's a good length even for being petite it doesn't like drag on the ground or anything else so yeah love this one Okay, so this outfit is kind of an obsession because it's casual but a little bit dressy too with pairing it with some booties. Sorry, the sun is deciding to shine in the room today. But first, let's talk about the jeans. So they are a little bit long. I just washed them so that I can drop them off at my hammer, my girl, <laughs> to take them up a little bit because even with some booties on, they're still pretty long. But I do want to keep these a little long so that I can pair them specifically with booties versus sneakers. So these jeans are from the brand Redone and you guys, I don't think I've found a more flattering pair of jeans that fit my body so freaking well. Like these might be giving my Goldie jeans a run for their money. First of all, the color of these jeans is so freaking perfect. It's like that perfect light wash. It's high rise without being overly high rise on me, especially for being petite. Some of my Goldie jeans run like really high, so I love love the fit of this and then even on the booty it looks so freaking good it actually makes me look like i have a butt and then the legs are a little bit more like wide leg too super super comfy and then these booties let's see if i can even show they are more of like a stiletto booty and it's in this really pretty like neutral color it's not too bright like a cognac or anything like that it's really muted brown and it's in the suede material i've been really really into stiletto booties and these are like super comfy too the smallest size that they come in is a five and a half and i'm you guys know i'm a true five but these fit me quite well especially if i was to wear socks um with these too I love them so much that I ended up getting it in the like creamy color that they come in as well. Here is another angle on the jeans. I'll give you a full 360 so that you can see it a little bit better, but you guys, I am so obsessed with these. Okay, let me give you guys a different angle to see if this is better, at least to show the tops. So this top, it's a sweatshirt material, but it's cropped and I love the V on it. Or what is this it's called? A notch or something on it, but it's like that super fleecy soft material. I think it's from the brand Lovers and Friends, but it has like a little cinch on the sleeves as well but i oh you guys this is like the perfect white top and sweatshirt to wear to elevate a super casual outfit like if i just want to wear a sweatshirt and jeans i just feel really comfortable and put together in this outfit i know that if i was to raise my arms and stuff my bralette would show so just make sure you're pairing it with like a really cute bralette underneath kind of like this one from skims that i'm wearing right now and i think that it would look really 
really cute. Okay, so this next top was definitely a splurge, but I decided I couldn't live without it. So we're keeping it. I'm not typically like a navy girl, but something about the structure of this knit top, the color of it with the white in it, I am here for it. And I just, I can't live without it. It's a part of my collection now. We are one, <laughs> but it really is the perfect top. I love the underarms and how like your bra still doesn't show the high neck. It's really soft and still stretchy and I love like this little slight V to angle up a little bit on the front. Oh, <laughs> this is it for me. I love this outfit, especially paired with this color denim. This, this is a look for sure. Okay, so this next top is also from Lovers and Friends. It's gonna be so perfect for the fall time. I've been looking for newer long sleeve shirts, but something that has a little bit of interest to it that's not like super boring. If you guys know what I mean, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I really like this trend as well. It's kind of like a polo, but it's a button up, kind of mixed the cardigan kind of feeling, but it's also cropped. I really like the length of this. And these jeans are, like I said, they're high rise, but they're a little bit lower rise than my Goldies. So I'm assuming if I pair it with my Goldies, this is gonna like skim the top of it a little bit more But the color is gonna be perfect for fall too. It's brown, but it has like some red tones to it too Super stretchy material. It'll still keep me really warm. It's really soft And then of course you can change up the buttons how you like you can button it all the way You can have it like this you can unbutton like the bottom one too So you can kind of like switch it up a little bit also quick mention. I finally got myself a belt I don't even have like a plain black belt Felt like this and I finally picked one up I cannot believe how long it took me but I'm very particular about it for some reason like I don't want it too skinny I don't want it too thick because I feel like it's gonna take away from me like I'm pretty petite and I don't want it to be like too suffocating to make too much of a statement so I wanted something like very simple also my waist is a little bit skinnier so it's hard to find belts that go small to like fit me too so happy to announce that I love this belt and it fits perfectly so yay finally have a belt <laughs> if you watched my last vlog you would have seen this top but i'm just going to quickly throw it in here and mention it because i also got it from revolve in this same haul but it's just a really cute basic knit tank top it's more cropped it is like a little bit see-through so wear pasties if you care you know about it i don't really mind all that much and it's just like perfect for my cup size it's not too revealing it covers enough but yet yeah, it's still like really really cute too i love like the skinny straps on it. it shows a little bit of cleavage not too much like i was kind of saying so I'm here for it and I just love, love, love the color of it too. I don't think this is the cutest outfit I could have come up with. I think that this top is better paired with different jeans. I switched jeans, I'll show you guys them in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys the top really fast. So this is like a nice basic tank top. If you guys need some like new basics, this comes in a few different colors. But what I like about it is that it's long. So it goes to about here and you can just tuck it in. It's also like a thicker material. So it's like substantial, feels really good quality it's still stretchy i'm not wearing a bra with it so i feel like you can kind of get away with it and i love like the cut around the shoulders it makes it just look really flattering i also love this charcoal color personally too but yeah anyways let's look at the jeans <laughs> okay so i untucked the shirt so that you guys can see like really the jeans and where they hit on me they are really long i tuck them under so that you can get like a better feeling for how the jeans look these are from the brand girlfriend denim and these are really high rise or a lot more high rise than the last pair i feel like these are more on par with like the goldie 90s jean as far as like this rise so i would suggest like if you guys have a long torso like these would be the perfect jeans for you they do seem like a little bit high rise on me but i actually don't mind it i think it looks fine i think if i throw it in the wash i can get it to like shrink up a little bit so that it maybe looks and fits a little bit better or i can get the waist taken in just like a smidge like it doesn't really gape too much but i feel like it could be a little bit better but otherwise i love love the wash of these i think that they're fantastic they're really comfortable they're like a thick denim yet you can still like move around in them which i appreciate so they're like a goldie in that sense and i love just the straight leg throughout as well so this is a really nice pair of jeans too they're also like a little bit looser too so i feel like that adds to like the comfort and then last up over here i ended up getting some little mules you guys these are so 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 comfy they're like so padded all around and it's like a little baby kitten heel without being too much 
of a kitten heel, I guess, but I find them so incredibly comfortable and cute. Like I can walk around in these for like miles and miles. I feel like I've been wanting to dress up my denim a little bit, just like with little kitten heels or something like that, more so than flat sandals or sneakers too, at least while I still have like a little bit of summer left. And I just love these so much and the color is gorgeous. Here, let me show you the shoe up close so that you can see them. You can see how cushioned they are and the little crossover on the front. And while I'm at it, let me show you the booty too up close. So here it is, a little stiletto heel, has a zipper on the side, good ankle, and I love the pointed toe on them. Yeah, they're fantastic. Dinner, dinner, dinner for everyone. Are you ready, Oliver? Hmm. It's finally dinner time. I've been laying in bed watching TV and trying to massage my head because my head hurts so bad. I took ibuprofen over 30 minutes ago, but it's not helping. You guys, I get the worst headaches all the time. Okay, still gonna be a good night. We're not gonna let it take away from us because I'm really looking forward to this dinner. I feel like a zombie. <laughs> Babe, are we oh. eating? Yeah. Are you almost done? Yeah. The gaming. Are we eating or what? Yeah, are we? <laughs> Wait, I'm not you. You don't be there. Not eating? <coughs> what do we need? Nothing. We just need to heat everything up. I'm heating up some of the non bread in the oven right now. Mm, butter chicken. Babe, it smells so good and I'm salivating. All right, so the deliciousness we're working with for tonight, looks like I put it in the microwave a little bit too long, but is paneer butter masala, got rice, got the naan bread set up. Wands is heating up right now, but then we also got butter chicken as well. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. The paneer butter masala is just my all-time favorite. I could eat that every single day. And then we're gonna watch something new today. Where is it? Did you say it was Netflix, babe? Mm -hmm. I really wanna watch this movie, Persuasion. Should be, yeah, that's weird. Shouldn't it be like right at the very top? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I watched Purple Hearts a couple days ago. So good. If you like romantic type movies, I think that you guys would enjoy it. Oh, here it is, The Sandman. So we're gonna watch this. It's a new series on Netflix. It might be up our alley. We both like fantasy type of shows. Isn't that what this is kind of is, babe? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll check it out. And then we have our food as well. Focus. What? What is Hocus Pocus 2 coming up? Hocus Pocus 2. Ah. That has to be like this Halloween. That would be like the perfect time. I think it's ready to go. That would be nice. That kind of makes me like look forward to fall a little bit. Huh. Even though I like so desperately want summer. I mean, summer is just starting. I feel like, and I feel like it's gonna be over in like two days. So sad. The summer is like flying by like no other. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here on that note. We are gonna vlog this weekend. I like how say we, it's mostly just me. What do you mean? He'll make his appearances like he usually does. I'm the star. You're the star. I think Oliver's the star. Let's be real. Where is that little guy? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and end it off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. Have a good day. See you in a couple days in my next vlog. Bye guys, love you guys so much. Mwah. <laughs>